Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If you are joining us for the first time, don't forget to subscribe and select the bell icon so that you won't miss any of the exciting content. In today's video, we will learn about Databricks, what is Databricks and why do we use it. Data is just like a bunch of little pieces of puzzle. If we can arrange and assemble it, we can gain insights or outputs from it. Databricks is like your puzzle solving buddy that helps you to put all these little pieces together. Now let's dive deep into Databricks. Databricks was originally started from 2013 by the original founder of Spark. Databricks provides a data platform service that provides users the ability to take advantage of Spark and their distributed file system without needing to spin up a bunch of internal instances of anything. Databricks is not just one open source solution, but in fact, it's multiple. Spark, Delta Lake, and MLflow are the three cores for Databricks. So from these three cores of Databricks, Spark is something which is unavoidable, as we are going to use Spark anytime we are processing data. Delta Lake can set up Delta Tables. We will learn and explore more about it in our upcoming videos. Then comes MLflow. MLflow here is used to manage end-to-end -end machine learning lifecycle. This will also give answers such as how do we deploy model, how to take care of features like model registry, model deployment, and some model monitoring. Most of the people will interact with Spark rather than the other two. Databricks encourages concept of data lake houses over the concept of data warehousing. According to the architecture of Databricks, in terms of the future of development and data management, they are inclined towards data lake house. Also, the concept of data lake house differs for both Snowflake and Databricks. We will further discuss the difference between data warehousing, data warehouse, house and difference in views with Snowflake and Databricks in details in our next video. As of now, you guys have got a brief understanding regarding Databricks. Next, we will see why we use Databricks. To understand and explore why we use Databricks, here we will discuss who all can use Databricks and why. Firstly, we will start with data scientists. They use it for developing and training machine learning models, running data analysis and visualizing results. And it provides a collaborative workspace integration with popular machine learning libraries and notebooks based programming environments. Secondly, we have data engineers. They can use it for transforming and cleaning data, creating data pipelines and optimizing data for analysis. It supports Apache Sparks for big data processing and often integration with various data resources. The data analyst can use Databricks for exploring data, creation of visualization and dashboards. These can also be used for running ad hoc queries. Databricks also supports interactive SQL notebooks and wide area of options to visualization. Now we have discussed who all can use Databricks and how they can benefit from it. We will learn more and explore more in Databricks in our upcoming videos. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. You can reach out through comment section if you have any question and concern and don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you. Have a good day.